The Pokemon anime was, is, and likely still will be a large part of many of our lives. However, it's not been without controversy. From the very beginning, there are Pokemon episodes that sparked controversy. And as such, here are five episodes from the very first season of the Pokemon anime, Pokemon Indigo League, that got banned. Banned in the United States, I should mention. Some of these were aired in Japan. But regardless, these are five from Indigo League, because if we talked about banned episodes from the series as a whole, we'd be here all day. So let's go. Number five, Electric Soldier Porygon. Electric Soldier Porygon is episode 38 in the original run of the anime. I've already done a full examination of this episode over on my other channel, Stuff We Play, so here's the short take on it. This episode was originally broadcast in Japan on December 16th, 1997, and features Ash Ketchum and crew arriving in the tastily named Matcha City, where the local Pokemon Center is having issues with the PC's Pokemon transfer system. This results in Ash and friends being sent into the magical world of the internet, along with the titular Porygon, where they must stop Team Rocket from stealing Pokemon. Ash and friends and Team Rocket must then escape from the internet world as they're pursued by a deadly virus busting program. So, why was this banned? After all, if that synopsis just sounds like your general turn of the century internet based episode. Well, this episode was banned due to the very scenes in which Pikachu and Porygon fought the virus busting program. Each of these scenes resulted in a quick, strobe like series of flashing red and blue lights. These flashing lights are quite slowed down here, but trust me, at full speed they're absolutely headache inducing. They were so bad, in fact, that over 700 Japanese viewers, over 600 of which were children, ended up in the hospital due to epileptic seizures. This resulted in the Pokemon anime itself being put on a four month hiatus, Japanese television shows for years to come having to air a disclaimer at the very beginning, warning viewers to not sit too close to the screens, and Electric Soldier Porygon itself never being aired again overseas or in Japan itself. Number 4, it's New Year's Eve, Pocket Monsters Encore. This next episode on our list was intended to be on New Year's Eve 1997, but was cancelled and never even aired in Japan due to the Electric Soldier Porygon incident. As such, no footage exists of it, hence why you're watching Yu-Gi-Oh right now. Instead of being a traditional episode, this would have been a one hour long special recapping the entire anime series up to this point, which was roughly episode 40. It would contain no new footage, but rather would feature a narrated clip show. So really we aren't missing much here, but as this was never aired, it's interesting to see an entire special cancelled due to the effects of another episode. If you really want a narrated Pokemon clip show though, well you're in luck because just over a year later on January 1st 1999, a two hour long special was done in the same format in Air Japan called It's the New Year Pocket Monster Special. Much like this cancelled clip show, this two hour special recapped the entire anime up to this point, which was roughly episode 70, and was not aired in any regions outside of Japan. Mostly due to the fact that it was just a clip show recap. Number 3. Beauty and the Beach The earliest of the banned episodes was Beauty and the Beach, which was anime episode 18, it aired on the 29th of July 1997 in Japan. This episode takes place right after the subplot where our trio of heroes got stuck in the island of giant Pokemon, and they end up at the very start of this episode in Akupoko, like the real life resort town of Akupoko, which is not an actual can location in Pokemon by the way. Our heroes then go joyriding in a speedboat belonging to an old man, which they then crash, resulting in them having to temporarily work for the old dude to get out of debt. He owns a restaurant, by the way, and is in competition with this angry old woman named Brutella. Shenanigans ensue, and at the end of the day, a swimsuit contest is held. And then Team Rocket begins to wreak havoc, because of course they do. Ash fights Team Rocket and saves the day, Brutella's restaurant is destroyed, and they all live happily ever after. Really standard Pokemon fair, so why was this episode banned? Well, 4Kids Entertainment, who was responsible for the first several years of the Pokemon anime outside of Japan, and being the progressive company that they are, banned the episode because of a scene halfway through where Team Rocket's James dresses up in a bikini, complete with inflatable breasts. This was considered too risque for poor impressionable non-Japanese children, and thus was banned in western countries until the 24th of June 2000, where a cut down version of the episode was aired in the US as a lost episode. 
Despite this, this episode has never made its way back onto any streaming services, though according to Latin American voice actor interviews, a translated version of the full, uncensored episode was recorded, and if we're lucky, it's still out there somewhere. Number 2. The Legend of Dratini The Legend of Dratini is episode 35 of the anime. This is another one that was never aired outside of Japan, which is a shame. While the other episodes on this list are one-offs that don't really contribute much to the overall plot, this episode is the Safari Zone episode, which answers the age-old question of how Ash caught roughly 30 or so Tauros. The plot is pretty simple though. Ash and company go to the Safari Zone and go on a pokey safari, leading them to try and catch as many mons as they can much the same way that you would in the actual Safari Zone the Pokemon games. The main attraction here is a very difficult to find Dratini, which is angry at the Safari Zone Warden for constantly annoying it. However, Team Rocket tries to steal Pokemon from the Safari Zone, including the coveted Dratini, though they're easily dispatched of and Dratini is reunited with its mother, a Dragonair that was apparently separated from quite a long time ago. With Team Rocket gotten rid of and Dratini reunited with its mother, the day is saved and Ash and Co. depart the Safari Zone, having made a friend out of the Warden. So with that simple, fairly run-of-the-mill plot, why was this episode banned? Well, that's simple. The Safari Zone Warden here is your run-of-the-mill, stereotypical, gun-toting Texan. His first interaction with Ash involves him pulling a gun on him and screaming at him in Japanese, Do you want to get shot? He nearly goes over the edge and threatens to pull out his trusty firearm and shoot people at several other points throughout the episode, and as a result, four kids decide not to translate and air this one out of Japan. I kind of wish they pulled a Beauty in the Beach and did a recap of this somehow, just to kind of explain where Ash's Tauros came from, but I can understand why they, what with the main audience being Americans who live in a country with the highest rate of school shootings among first world countries, would not want to air an episode where a 10 year old nearly gets his brains blown out. Number 1. Holiday Hijinks This is by far the most infamous episode on this list hence why I saved it for last. This was the only episode out of these five to ever be aired in the United States, but even then, that was not without complications. Holiday Hijinks was originally planned as episode 39, however due to the Electric Soldier Porygon incident, was pushed back in Japan to an air date of the 5th of October 1998, where it aired alongside the episode Snow Way Out. In the US, however, it was aired on the 11th of December 1999. This is a fairly standard Christmas special. Ash and company discover a Jinx, who finds a boot belonging to Santa Claus, so they go to the North Pole to try to return it. Meanwhile, Team Rocket wants to track down Santa due to Jesse having a personal beef with old Saint Nick. Team Rocket is stopped from killing Santa, Jinx is reunited with Santa, and Christmas is saved. Also, for those wondering, Santa's sleigh is pulled in this episode by Ponyta instead of the reindeer-based Stantler, since that Pokemon wouldn't be introduced until Pokemon Gold and Silver versions. So, what happened and why was this episode never re-aired, and why is it currently unavailable on any and all streaming services despite being fully dubbed? Well, that's because shortly after its original airing, cultural critic Carol Boston Weatherford published an article in the Greensboro News and Record accusing the show of racism due to Jinx appearing like a large woman wearing blackface. While stated by those involved with Pokemon for this to have not been the intention with Jinx's design, it's easy to see why this would be the impression received by many in the West, and thus it's also easy to see why this episode resulted in a firestorm of negative media backlash. As such, Jinx's official design was changed from having black skin to purple skin, and this episode was pulled from syndication. Despite this, if you really want to watch this through official means, it is available on VHS and DVD releases of the Indigo League episodes. However, this would not be the last time an episode was skipped due to blackface-esque imagery, as in July 2018, Disney XD opted to skip the 64th episode of the Pokemon Sun and Moon anime due to Ash painting his face black to blend in with the herd of Passimian. And that's it for a video on 5 banned episodes from the Pokemon Indigo League saga. Would you want to see another video where we cover other banned episodes from throughout the series? What Pokemon topics do you want to see covered in future videos? Let me know in the comments below and while you're at it, subscribe to Master Trainer to keep updated on anything and everything Pokemon. And with that, I'll see you next time.